Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the Vouchers plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create in-game vouchers which players can use to get items, health, cash or perform any commands and it's a really easily customizable plugin with the in-game GUI. So I've made a couple of examples. If I do forward slash vouchers, this is going to bring out the main GUI. On the left, we can look at the voucher list and then select ones to either give ourselves or edit. Then we can look at our redeem history. So you can see I've been kind of messing around with this plugin. But if we go into the voucher list, what we can see is I have two different vouchers. You can see you can customize the name, the law, make it nice and colorful. But I'm going to take one of each of these. And then to use one of these vouchers, all we need to do is right click. Now for this one, we get another GUI and we can confirm or deny if we want to use it. And then for this one, we are both going to get a golden shovel and some health as well. And it says, here is some health in chats and it shows what our rewards are. Now there's a few different options for rewards, such as choosing your own. So if I were to use this diamond voucher, it's gonna bring up a second GUI where it gives us the option to either get a diamond with 100% chance or $100 with a 100% chance. And as you can see, it shows $100 and that got added to my account. Now that's what you can do with the plugin. Let's show you how to create a voucher of our own. So to start with, go back into the four slash vouchers GUI, open up the list, and at the bottom we can click new voucher. Now we need to call it something. I'm gonna call it server miner. Once we've done that, you can see it is appearing here now and we can either delete it by pressing one, right click to edit, left click to take, but obviously we haven't customized it yet. After right clicking, we can change the name again if we wanted to, we can change the items, so go ahead and left click this. And then it's got a GUI full of pretty much every single item in Minecraft, so you can click that or search for the item, such as I think, iron, and then let's go with uh, horse armor, for example, and that is our icon for it. Then we have the description, so this is the lore and this is the sample one. So we can add a new line if we want to, so left click, and you can use color codes. So that's going to add a line and we can delete the first one by hitting one. And there we go, we've only got one line, let's add another one. And there we go, so I've added three different lines and you can see that is what it looks like. So the next one down here is the voucher settings. This is quite important. So what you can do is have a maximum amount of usage. If it's minus one, that's infinite, but what we can do is set that to two, for example, so you can only use it twice ever. You can change the sound if you wanted to. And once again, there is a long list of all the different sounds in Minecraft, so you can click one of those. And then the cooldown, how long do you want people to wait before they use it again? So maybe 20 seconds. And then down here, what is the permission required for someone to use it? And then any messages that pop up. So you could add a new message in the form of a broadcast, chat, action bar, subtitle. Um, we could do a title. It is your voucher. And then if we go back, we can have the reward mode. So there's three different ones. There's automatic, that means you get everything. There's reward select where you get that GUI and you choose, and there is random as well. Finally, we have the voucher reward. So in here, we can left click to select either a command or an item. We're gonna do both. For the item, we're gonna pop in an emerald and then we can change the chance, so maybe 90%. And then we're gonna create that reward and then do the same thing, but with a command reward this time. Give the player $500 and make sure you put it with the percentage sign either side so it targets that specific player. Hit enter and then once again we could do the chance so maybe 50% for this one and then the reward delay in ticks so 40 and then the message enjoy your money and then we can create that go back and then we can test out our reward. As you can see, it looks very colorful, looks a bit weird. So I'm gonna get two of these, right click and then confirm. It says, here is your voucher in a big title. We got $500 from that, so let's use it again. And because of the 20 second cooldown, we can't use it immediately. And then if I try and use it a third time, it says you cannot redeem that voucher anymore because I've obviously hit the limit of two, which I set. So that is how you would use it in game. As you can see, it's very easy to customize. It's a very well-made plugin. So here we are on the SMP control panel. As you can see, there's a few database files and a small config, so there's not too much in here. We've got the prefix up at the top. We've got the language that's default for the plugin. And then do you want it to ignore the reward chances? So you always get a reward, yes or no. And then can anyone redeem a voucher if they have permission? Uh, yes or no, 
you want permissions to block usage and then log the voucher status and then show the voucher reward info to tell the player what they got. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated for 1.16 to 1.20. There's some good information down here and some images showing you what the plugin is like. And if you have any issues with the plugin, you can contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on checkout serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.